the owner of the Rams who just won the Super Bowl. Uh, his name is Stan Kroenke, uh, and there's a big celebration going on. He's a big success, look, his team just won. But we don't know many things about his background, where he got it started, how he got to this point. Now, um, as we know, the Rams have gone back and forth from LA to St. Louis and back oh. to LA. So let's look at, uh, at some details of how he got where he is now. So Stan's career was jump-started by Ann Walton, you might recognize that last name, one heir to the Walmart fortune, which in 1971, he bumped into Ann Walton on a ski trip in Aspen. Mm, please. No, I do declare. Yes. Uh, so the Waltons <laughs> took him under their wing, gave him a job with one of uh, one of their uh, Ann's uncles, and he was a powerful Missouri real estate developer, which in that business, he then developed his own kind of money, built his empires, renting out countless cookie cutter strip malls, with Walmart, of course, being a big part about that. So his retail properties were often anchored by Walmart super centers. And from 1990 to 2000, he collected $154 million in rents and fees from the retail giant. That's according to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, um, it wasn't long until he started to take those some, some city funds and expanded upon that empire. So money also flowed into his coffers from the, pub, from the public in the form of hundreds of millions of dollars in subsidies. His St. Louis-based real estate company received $117 million in tax breaks from local governments on 10 shopping center developments from 94 to 2006, 54 million of which went towards Walmart stores. And that's according to Good Jobs First. So when he went to St. Louis, uh, there was this whole idea, and we know this with this, I think part of this type of situation was happening in San Diego with the Chargers, one of the reasons they moved. But when he went to St. Louis, there was this promise that all of the money that would flow into this big team that came in would trickle down for the economy. And the city of St. Louis then put together this deal with him uh, that would allow them to play in the city. So the city officials agreed to hand over $280 million in public money. $523 million in 2020, in 2022 dollars, because this was back in the day when they went there, to fund the construction of the stadium that they had in St. Louis. And it was a dome. It received $30 million in renovations in 2009, but it wasn't enough for Kroenke. And there was other proposals from St. Louis officials and on and on. And they were desperate for this kind of money to come in to help them. A lot of these owners go to cities and then expect the city to pay for their facility. And they say, don't worry, we're gonna make so much money Everybody's gonna be great here. That was the promise as well. So on to this next graphic. St. Louis sued for breach of contract, but Kroenke and the NFL agreed to pay the city $790 million and return the Rams and returned the Rams west back to uh, LA again in 2016, making him public enemy number one in eastern Missouri. And to this day, the state still owes tens of millions of dollars in bonds for that dome, which I'm not sure what it's being used for now. I've been to St. Louis in forever, but I do remember I was there when they moved to St. Louis. They practiced on my high school field and we were all excited. And we had uh, we weren't really thinking about the dome and all that stuff at 15 years old. Um, so in 2017, he was outed for donating a million dollars to Trump's 2016 inauguration fund. That's not a surprise, as well as being a loyal member, a loyal Republican Party donor. So Rams owner Stan Kroenke and his wife, uh, and Cr Walton Kroenke, had given more than $469,000 to campaigns and political groups. Federal and state campaign finance records do show that. So the Kroenke's top beneficiary of political giving since 92 has been the Republican National Committee with about $225,000 in total contributions. But he amped it up when he got Trump. Trump, he's a, ooh, Trump's super hateful, love that guy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quadruple my giving now. So he didn't do it despite Trump, he gave more because of Trump. Okay, now I want to focus on the numbers here. At first, I thought Kroenke had moved mainly based on JR's living patterns. And he's like, <laughs> JR's in St. Louis, I'll go to St. Louis. JR moved to LA, I'll move to LA. Um, <laughs> but it turns out, shockingly enough, that was not the main reason. Yeah. Uh, it was money. And so uh, the first one, uh, number I want to focus on is $154 million that he got from the Walmarts moving in, conveniently moving into his strip malls. Um, because there's the myth of meritocracy. I write about it in my upcoming book uh, that you could pre order, not a big deal, uh, justiceiscomingbook.com. And it's not to say that meritocracy never exists, of course it does. My dad was a poor olive farmer and he wound up living the American dream. But by the way, because he got a free college education in Turkey, if he hadn't, we'd still be farmers. That's why progressive politics matters, it gives you equality of opportunity. Um, but the reason why corporate media mainly talks about meritocracy as if it's the only thing that's really true. So if you see, 
because it reinforces in your mind, if you see a rich person, they earned it. And by the way, if you're not rich, that means you didn't earn it. And it's your fault, and you shouldn't look to have the government or anyone else help you. It was you should just grab some bootstraps. That's part of the mythology that lionizes these billionaires. When in reality, the dude ran into the heiress of the <laughs> Walton fortune on a ski slope. It might have been literal, okay? And you know, he, I guess he did a good job of charming her, and then literally hundreds of millions of dollars start falling into his lap, okay? So wow, what a genius. It doesn't take that much of a genius to do that. So okay, then he starts to accumulate more money. Fine, he got rich, who cares? That's not a story, that's not interesting. Okay, so he got lucky and married her and made a lot of money in real estate. I, it's a free country, right? But then he starts taking our money. So the second number is that $117 million that JR told you about in tax breaks from local governments on the shopping centers before we even got to the football stadiums. Well, now, if somebody gave you $117 million in tax breaks, you know what you'd have? $117 million, okay? Mm -hmm. It's certainly $117 million more than what you have today. So, but oh, he earned it, he earned it. <laughs> no, the minute you get rich enough, you just grease the politicians and then you take some of the tiny bit of the Walton money, you give it to them, they give you 117 million back, and the Waltons give you another 154 million dollars, and then all of a sudden you own the Rams. And, and then you start holding them hostage. In St. Louis, look, the equivalent of half a billion dollars that the people, the citizens of St. Louis gave to that guy. And then he's like, you guys are suckers, you should have never believed me. Now I'm gonna take your money and I'm gonna run, because I got a better real estate deal in LA. And now the suckers in LA are gonna pay me to, but to do what? That, that stadium, SoFi Stadium, I've gone, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's modern. It costs $5 billion. Okay, I'm glad the Rams won the Super Bowl. My, we live in LA, my son's now a Rams fan. But $5 billion, it's not like the guy isn't rich enough. Right, but take, 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 and they take from us. Why do you think they give the Republicans? So they can all take all that money, and the Republicans could say, you know what, these rich people need one more tax cut, <laughs> and and Trump delivered for Kroenke, uh, gave a two trillion dollar tax cut to the rich, and so that's how you get screwed, Helen. I can't believe this story is just shocking to me, guys. The fact that. Not only is the Walton family of Walmart trash, but the people who marry them are also trash. <laughs> oh my, my mind is blown here. I am just shook. People who marry into the Walmart family are also trash bags. Oh, oh, I, I, oh, somebody, hold up, hold up. If you think about it, this is why there's all these barriers, not barriers necessarily, but there's these. When it comes to wealthy families, they're very particular about who they marry, right? It's not, and that's why even- It's a, it's a certain kind of trash. <laughs> it's a particular, trash, they have to vet trash it. Trash who can ski. <laughs> yeah, because again, like you point out, on the, on the slopes of Aspen, Colorado, like how many regular folks are there, you know? And even the regular folks who are dirt poor, they still think, I have this legacy I have to fulfill. I can't let my daughter marry that guy. You know what he's gonna do to her legacy, her name? You ain't got a name, you have $45 in your bank account. Because I did the story on the watch list about the, the three who killed Ahmed Arbery and uh, the uh, William who thought he was gonna get off because he didn't pull the trigger or pull the truck in front of him. He complained about his daughter dating a black guy and how she's a, a sociopath. They think there's this weird familial thing you have to keep in. And when it's rich and wealthy people like this, they definitely have a reason for it because they'll filter all this different money in and get them in on the same scheme and be like, he's worthy of this. He'll, he'll, he'll continue the same type of familial things that we've always done. And it works and, out that way. And Jer, let me add on to that uh, based on a story we just did yesterday, okay? So Walmart uh, is paying Haitian uh, workers $5 not an hour, a day. So oh. so uh, they protested and, and we covered on the show yesterday. And the guy who marries into the Walton family isn't the guy who says, hey, you know what? We made how many billions in profit last year and the year before that? 
and the 20 years before that? And how many billions do we have? We're, hey, look at this room. We're eight out of the top 20 richest people in the country. I forget the exact numbers, but I think it's in that ballpark. Maybe it might be six out of the top 20 richest are the Waltons who own mm -hmm. Walmart, yeah, right? Family. And like maybe we could afford $6 a day for Haitian workers because it's not like we're not making profits. It's just a tiny little margin we would lose, right? But we'd still make billions. That guy doesn't get accepted into the family. That's not the guy who marries into the Waltons because he would be shunned. He'd be like, you think we're morally dubious for crushing Haitian workers? How dare you, good sir? I bid you adieu. <laughs> so, yeah, of course, guys who are morally compromised and don't mind it marry into that family, and then they take it part in in exact in all of that. Oh, I got a strip mall now. Walmart, are you going to put it in that strip mall? By the way, ruining my competitor, Bob, who's also in St. Louis or Denver or wherever he is. Or are you gonna put it into my strip mall? I'm married into your family. Oh, you're gonna put it into mine and I'm gonna make money and Bob's gonna go bankrupt. And that's how that's, that game is played. They marry, that guy marries into the Walton family. And that's exactly what happened. And by the way, I'll add one more thing. You know uh, who uh, made sure to get rid of the populist um, uh, leader of Haiti and in, uh, or the candidate that had a chance at winning and install a guy who wound up being the most corrupt leader of Haiti ever? Hillary Clinton, and that's when she was Secretary of State for Barack Obama. And do you know what she did before that? She was on the board of Walmart, and that's how this game is played. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.